Hello, my name is Mike, and in this video, you join me in the 2020 BMW M550i. Not to be confused with the BMW M5. This one is one below it. It's an M Sport car. But are M Sport cars worth your consideration? Well, let's go and find out. Under the hood of this BMW M550 is a twin turbocharged V8 producing 523 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. Sure, it's not the 600 or 600 plus that you're getting in the BMW M5, but 523 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque is still quite an impressive amount for one step below the M5. I mean. Take a look at this. If I put it into Sport Plus, sporty shifting, and I put my foot down, it still goes. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour takes just 3.8 seconds, and that's very impressive for a luxury 5 Series sedan that weighs about 2 tons. But it's not all just about pure raw power, because this engine is actually pretty economical considering how much power it produces. I mean, in my week of driving, I've averaged around 12.9 liters per 100 kilometers. And that's about a 50-50 city highway mix. I mean, sure, it's not a Toyota Prius or anything like that, but when's the last time you saw a Prius do this? <laughs> this really gives you a good kick to your backside. Made it to the engine is an 8-speed automatic transmission and I have zero complaints about this transmission. In comfort mode, it's really smooth to shift gears and it knows which gears it needs to be in for the amount of throttle that I'm giving it. Shift it into Sport Plus mode and you do feel the gear shifts, but they also happen much more quickly. Stopping the two-ton car is a lot of work for the brake calipers, but they get the job done. It doesn't take much force from the brake pedal to stop the M550i in everyday driving situations. But when more stopping power is required, the calipers clamp down on the brakes with a tremendous amount of force to stop the car dead in its tracks. Although there is a BMW badge on the front of this car, it really feels more like a heavy luxury sedan when going around the corner. It's by no means a slouch because it can actually go around corners. But you get the sense that it feels like it's much more comfortable sitting at 200 kilometers an hour down an autobahn. Driving around town, the M550i is a very comfortable luxury sedan, as you would expect from a BMW product. Suspension really does a good job of absorbing the bumps, but without feeling too floaty when you're going over undulations. The only time it really feels like it's a bit too floaty is when you're going over a speed bump. It sort of does a few jounces before it settles down. But that's at slow speeds anyway, and how many times are you going to drive over speed bumps? Put the drive mode in Sport Plus, and suspension firms up a little bit, but it's still a very comfortable 5 Series. Up here in the front, I have plenty of space. I am 6'4", of course, and I have loads of headroom and loads of legroom. These seats are also really comfortable, they have plenty of adjustments, and best of all, if I push this little button here on the door, it's actually massaging. And there's eight different massaging options that I can choose from. I can have it just a seat bottom, just a seat back, or a full body massage. The rear seats are also spacious, although if you're taller than six feet like myself, you won't really want to be there for very long. 
Sure, you'd be fine on a short trip from a suburb to a city center, but you'll probably want to be in the back of a 7 Series if you had to go from, say, Berlin to Frankfurt, for example. Trunk space is generous at 530 liters of cargo volume and it is a power operated trunk lid. The 2020 BMW M550i comes equipped with BMW's latest infotainment system, which has a bit of a steep learning curve for those that are not used to BMW vehicles. But it doesn't take very long to figure your way around it, and there are four ways to actually control it. For example, to change the volume, you can use the old-fashioned volume knob, the steering wheel mounted buttons, the gesture control with a clockwise or counterclockwise gesture, or voice commands, like so. Hey BMW! Turn up the volume. Of course, I'll turn the music up. Honestly speaking though, the volume knob and steering wheel mounted buttons are enough. Maybe even the voice commands. But the gesture control in my opinion is just a gimmick and it makes you look like a bit of a dork if someone sees you doing these weird gestures in your car at a set of stoplights. Other than the new infotainment system, the BMW M550i can be equipped with just about every feature in the BMW options catalog. Heated and ventilated seats, navigation, blind spot sensors, adaptive cruise control with lane keep, park assist, and so on. It's all there. In terms of looks, the M550i is a bit on the conservative side, and to be honest, I'm actually okay with that. It's not meant to be a sedan that shouts for attention. If you really want attention, then get an i8 before it's all sold, or get the new 2021 4 Series. The 5 Series is well proportioned and this M Sport variant has a few sporty credentials, like the bigger front bumper openings for better cooling, the sporty looking exhaust, and a few subtle M badges. So in the end, is the 2020 BMW M550i worth the money? Well, this one starts at $86,500 Canadian, and this model as equipped is just over $101,000 Canadian. Yes, that is quite a lot of money, but the M5 is the base M5, not the competition. That one is around $118,000 Canadian. That's a pretty big jump from $86,000 to $118,000. Yes, in the past it would have been a no-brainer. You go for the M car. The M Sport cars were just normal cars with a few M badges here and there. But these days, things have changed. The M Sport cars offer you quite a lot of performance. And I think for, I want to say maybe 95% of people, the amount of power and performance that you're getting out of this M550 is more than enough. Of course, there's always going to be those that want the absolute pinnacle the very best, so they'll go for the M5 and the M5 competition. But you can actually go and save yourself a lot of money by getting this and still having some fun. If you want to know more about the 2020 BMW M550i, I wrote a comprehensive review of it over on my website. You can find the link in the video description. And as always, I will see you in the next car or truck or SUV, hopefully motorcycle. But anyway, we'll see what the next car is. Take care and see you next time.